Hello friends, Osiris here, and a brand new Terror Raid event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this event and the best builds to go in and solo this with over this weekend. So off the back of that 7-star Terror Raid event for Prima Arena, we now have the next 5-star Terror Raid event happening in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it will be featuring two Paradox Pokemon sandy shocks in pokemon scarlet and iron thorns in pokemon violet the event itself will be running from the 24th to the 26th of may not running for a huge amount of time but running over this weekend if you are wanting to take part in it the pokemon featuring like i say in pokemon scarlet you're going to see sandy shocks level 25 will have that protosynthesis ability with moves discharge earth power flash cannon and eerie impulse with the additional moves of sunny day and gravity it won't have any marks it will have the chance to be shiny standard rates as always and its terror type will be random when it appears on the map it will only be a five star terror rate so not too difficult to take down and the item drops as per usual with these events are pretty decent so you're going to get an array of xl large candies terror shards feathers you're going to get rare candies, you're going to get nuggets, and more importantly, you are going to get a single drop of Sour Herba Mystica. It's only got a 3% chance to drop every time you beat this raid, but it is a Herba Mystica nonetheless, a hard item to get. The featured Terra type that you're going to see more often on the map than not is going to be the Ice Terra type for Sandy Shocks. Again, going to be pretty similar to everything that you've just seen before with the random Terra types. Now, if you've got Pokemon Violet, you're going to have the exclusive Pokemon of Iron Thorns. It is going to be level 75 again. We'll have its Quark Drive ability. Moves it's going to have is Stone Edge, Supercell Slam, Earthquake, Pin Missile, Electric Terrain, and Curse. Again, no mark in particular for this one, but it does have those standard shiny rates. That you are going to be able to see it shiny, potentially, if you get lucky in your game. Random Terra type for this one. And again, same with the item drops as the Sandy Shocks. You're going to have that same 3% drop chance for the Herba Mysticas along with all of those other decent item drops that you get. And the signature Terra type that we're going to see with this one is going to be a bug type. So we'll be hitting pretty hard with those pin missiles if it is the bug type when you go up against it. But we'll jump into game now. I'll show you exactly how you can take part in this event if you want to while it's running from the 24th of May till the 26th over this weekend. So when you're in game, if you want to access this event, you'll need to make sure that you are connected to the internet, then come down to your Poker Portal. Once you're in Poker Portal, come down to the Mystery Gift section. And then in here, you want to go into the option of Check Poker Portal News. This will update your game and all of the raid dens in the area. So when you're in Paldea and you check the map, you'll be able to notice these Terror Raid dens with a white aura around them that will indicate they are one of the five star Terror Raid spotlight events. So, the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be Snorlax. It is going to be a really good option for farming through both the Sandy Shocks and the Iron Thorns, respectively, in their Scarlet and Violet versions. Snorlax is going to be level 100. It is going to be hyper trained. Just make sure that those IVs are set to 31. Held item is going to be the Life Orb. The Terra type doesn't matter on this one. You're not going to be terrestrializing in any of these battles. And the move set is going to be Belly Drum, Screech, Heat Crash, and Giga Impact. The ability, again, doesn't really matter too much on the Snorlax. With the EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and 252 EVs in attack with an adamant nature. The remaining EVs just put into either defense or special defense. I'd suggest if you are in Pokemon Scarlet and you're going up against mainly the sandy shocks put the remaining evs in special defense and the reverse if you're in pokemon violet you can put the remaining evs in defense just to give you a bit more cover there so we'll jump into the raid now i'll show you how quickly you can do this with this snorlax and depending on the terror type as well because obviously there are random terror types for all of these terror raids uh, events when they're going on this weekend we're going up against the ghost one now just to give you an example of how easy it is even despite the terror type that you're going to come across with the sandy shocks or the iron thorns you've got to remember as well that these are only five star terror raids so they're not the most difficult not the most threatening but there are ways for you to run through them as quick as possible i feel like after a bit of testing snorlax seems like the best option going into these raids over the weekend if you are wanting to farm them turn one we're going to lock in with the belly drum that is going to max out our attack tickets to plus six so we're going to be able to hit as hard as possible this is the first stage in this setup it will cut our hp in half though so just keep an eye on that for the remainder of the battle 
turn two we're going to lock in with a screech that's going to lower the defense stat on the sandy shocks by two stages so take it down to minus two and then in the next turn we're going to be able to take a bunch of attacks as well from the sandy shocks when it is doing this turn three we're going to go for an all-out attack cheer and that is just going to boost our attack next turn we're going to see the sandy shock set up a sunny day and it will probably go for a gravity as well is going to launch a token eerie impulse into us lowering our special attack but not going to really bother us too much in this battle there's the gravity setting up and you'll see this will be followed up by a sunny day as well but we're going to be in that position now where we can just launch a heat crash off the nice thing about heat crash is it can take advantage of this sun it will activate obviously the protosynthesis ability on the sandy shocks as well but turn four gonna lock in with that heat crash and it's going to be more than enough even if the sandy shocks has more hp than it does in this example gonna be more than enough to pick up the one hit kill on this pokemon so you're going to be able to run through it very quickly if the sandy shocks is any other type you're just going to be using the giga impact again using the same example as we did here and you're going to be able to catch the sandy shocks whatever pokeball you want and hopefully pick up some herba mystica along the way of course it is a sour herba mystica it only has a three percent chance to drop uh, so you're not going to get the drop of the herba mystica every time you do it but that is essentially how easy you can run through sandy shocks this weekend when the event is running so if you're in Pokemon Violet and you're going up against Iron Thorns, going to use exactly the same Snorlax that we did against Sandy Shocks. We'll jump into the raid and I'll show you exactly how easy it can be to run through this one, farm them for those high cost items, as well as hopefully those Herba Mystic drops over the weekend. The Iron Thorns is slightly different in setup to the Sandy Shocks, but pretty similar in a lot of ways. It's going to take about the same amount of turns, despite the Terra type that you've got. So when you come into the raid for the first time, the first thing that you're going to do is set up a belly drum as you've done before. It will be a noted if you do have an Arbolivia against the, the Iron Thorns, it is going to make things a lot easier just for that slight bit of recovery that you're going to see throughout the raid. The Iron Thorns has more, I guess, stronger attacks in things like Pin Missile, which are a multi-target attack. Which you're going to do a lot more damage and can hit up to five times. Can see here this one only hits us three times so we get a little bit lucky with that one can be a bit with the rng in these situations it's not always going to lock in with the pin muscle but you can see turn one we do get that belly drum off and as i see with the Arbolivia with that grassy terrain it does give us a little bit of recovery now the next turn we're going to lock in with a screech to see a supercell slam come out from the iron thorns it's going to hit us a little bit harder than some of its other options that it's got access to but because of that grassy terrain that we've got access to with the Arbolivia, it is giving us a bit of additional recovery here going forward in the match. You are going to see this next turn, the Iron Thorn set up the electric terrain. It's going to activate its cork drive. I think most of the time it will heighten one of its attacks. It can be pretty random from its special defense to its attack, which we're seeing here. Pin Missile is going to be fired out again from this Iron Thorns as we are going to fire off another Screech this turn. So we'll see the Pin Missile come out still not doing that much damage we get fortunate again here with two hits as we get that second screech off now we're going to be in that position where we are going to be able to fire off a giga impact into this depending on the terror type of course as well it will make a bit of difference a curse coming out from the iron thorns taking it to minus three defense but that's still fine don't worry about that in this situation as we will be able to take an attack from this iron thorns and then fire back with a big giga impact which is going to be enough at this range to still pick up the knockout on this pokemon as you can see very easy to do you can run through the iron thorns like i say the obolivia does definitely help with the recovery there against this particular pokemon uh, if you're in a bit of a sticky spot and you haven't got the obolivia you can always use a heal cheer throughout this raid but pretty much a similar setup and then you can go forward catch the iron thorns or skip it just to get the item drops and hope that you get a Herba Mystica drop as well, but we haven't got one there. But that's basically essentially how you can run through both of these raids with the Snorlax. Different setups in both of them, using two Screeches against the Iron Thorns, only the one against the Sandy Shocks, but you are using an all-out attack chair against that one as well. But when you come to it, if you've run through all the events on your map and you've got none left, you can hit your home menu, come down into your system settings, then down into system. Then you'll be going down into date and time. Make sure you synchronize clock where the internet is off. Toggle through all the date and time options, hit your home menu, and then come back into game. We'll refresh all the dens on your map, and you'll get new ones that you can go after to farm for this weekend. 
So friends, that is everything for today's video. If you've got your own builds that you've been using, things like Ursa Luna can be very good as well as things like Como Or and of course Annihilate is always going to be a good option as well. But drop them down in the comment section below as always to help the community out with additional builds if they don't want to go with the Snorlax that I've featured in today's video. But I hope if you are taking part in this event, you have a lot of fun with it. It might be worth if you are farming for Herba Mystica just to keep that Primarina in your game. It is going to yield more Herba Mystica drops than these events in total. I've ran through a bunch of these this morning and still not had a single Sour Herba Mystica drop from these Pokemon. I would definitely suggest just keeping that Primarina if you've got it in your game to farm Herba Mystica but otherwise it's a really nice event to get these Paradox Pokemon. Of course as well over the weekend you will be able to go online and join raids that are hosted by other players hosting the opposite version exclusive to the one you've got so you'll be able to get both of these Paradox Pokemon pretty easily over the weekend while the event is running. If you are taking part in it though friends I hope you have a lot of fun with it. If you've enjoyed today's video and found it useful please do drop a like do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And with that, we'll say goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.